I'm a kindred one trick. That's all you need to know, really. Without further ado, I'm going to provide what Riot should keep in mind when reworking slash changing Kindred, and I'm going to give some propositions and opinions on the changes coming to Kindred, really. So if you didn't know already, uh, Riot plans on changing a bit uh, the uh, bot lane and Kindred in the next few patches. And they have revealed some of the changes that they want to make to Kindred already. They aren't guaranteed changes, but... I'm still going to give my two cents on it, nevertheless. So first off, I'm going to talk about why I love this champion so much and everything that goes behind it, really, that I completely fucking adore. So if you didn't know, Kindred have a smoothly transitioning kit, which is consistent. And I'm going to provide you with this beautifully made graph on the screen so my explanation is easier to follow. First off, the participation in abilities between Lamb and Wolf. Kindred's Q involves only Lamb, W involves only Wolf, and E involves Lamb and Wolf. If you look at their passive, it involves both of them. Wolf marks jungle camps and Lamb marks enemy champions. Now the second thing is what type of ability it is, because if you actually look at uh, the passive Q, W and E, all of them are about damage, one way or another. Now the last thing is about mobility and how it affects enemies and kindred. Their passive doesn't affect anyone's mobility in that direct way, so let's just say that it doesn't affect mobility at all. Their Q gives them mobility. Simple. Their W gives them mobility by resetting Q's cooldown and slows down non-allied NPCs like jungle camps. And lastly their E which only slows down enemies. So if you didn't already notice it, I haven't mentioned their ultimate in any way. That's because this is literally the only problem I have with Kindred. The ultimate. As if you look at the smooth transition between Lamb and Wolf's involvement, mobility affection and everything about damage, the ultimate literally breaks every single one of them. Because it would make sense for the ultimate to look like this, but definitely not like this. The ultimate breaks that fluidity which is my main and probably the only issue I have with Kindred. Don't worry, I am still going to rant a little more about the ultimate later, but for now I am going to give my two cents on the current changes that they are planning to make. First of all, their Q. Riot wants to make Kindred's Q reset when it hits an enemy champion rather than by staying inside of their Q. I have two problems with this. The main one is that this will make W lose almost all of its utility, as the main reason for you to use it is for a faster Q cooldown reset. The second one is the balance side of things. This is going to be extremely hard to balance without alienating the current feeling of Kindred's kit and not making Kindred broken or underpowered. The second thing they wanted to change is a revert to W basically, so it heals Kindred based on their missing HP. So my honest opinion is... Don't. S seriously, don't. If you go back to my kit explanation segment, you can already see why this will break the transition between mobility and consistency in ability type. So if Riot does decide to make the Q changes go through, I will recommend Riot to make W slow also apply to champions, but on a much lower scale so it doesn't break the ability type while making it more useful. And lastly, a change to their passive. They want to make Kindred's marks spawn not only on enemy camps, but also in allied camps, but reduce the power slash importance of these marks. To be honest, I don't see any negative side to that actually, I think this is a good change. Because it makes Kindred less predictable while also making the marks not a primary objective to the enemy jungler. And as I expected, no changes to the ultimate. Why? Why won't you even consider to change it like in a... even in a really small way, like seriously, even in lore-wise, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Kindred are supposed to be the Grim Reapers, the, the, the gods of death, not life. Like, So I will be proposing an ultimate which works in a similar way to the current one, but also doesn't break the immersive and smooth side of Kindred's kit. So it's not gonna be a pain for one tricks like me to get used to, nor will it alienate them, but at the same time it will fix the ultimate's consistency and lore-breaking side. 
So here it is. Kindred cast a zone at their current location which slows down enemies and gives mobility to allied champions. Any living thing inside that zone cannot drop below 10% health. At the end of the ultimate, the zone disappears and the wolf bites everything inside, similarly to Fizz's ultimate, dealing flat damage to everything, allied or enemy, and anything which hit the 10% health threshold which will instantly die if they were inside the zone at the time of the wolf's bite. Marked champions or camps will die inside the zone no matter their health when they get hit by a wolf's bite. So, it gives mobility, it gives slows, it doesn't give life but complete and utter death, and Lamb and Wolf participate in it. I mean, come on! This is much better! Arguably. That's it for today's ranting. I hope you enjoyed and please, actually, le leave any suggestions or your opinions down in the comments below as I'm actually interested in hearing what other people's ideas might be. Hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day and don't forget 89% of breakfasts consists of cereals. Now how about this?